Hi, Alfredo. Hello, Alfredo. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Good, Hi, good, Alfredo. good. Good. Yeah, let me, um, hmm. Hello, Alfredo. Here. Hi. Hi, how are you? Just one second there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why my camera is not working today. Uh, oh, it was okay. working earlier. Yeah, so I'm I'm here just for whatever reason the uh, camera's not working. Let's see if I can get it to work again. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's just my camera too isn't working. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You know, so who knows? Who knows? So how are you doing, uh, uh, Elias? Elias, yes. is that right? It's Elias. It's Elias. Elias. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good, 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 good. Yeah. Just yeah. ready to teach class. That's about it, you know. So, so we're gonna uh, be in academic English today, all right? Yes. So, we'll, yeah. So we'll cover just cover some of the questions that you have on the the test. If you're taking like the TOEFL or uh, the IELTS, for example. So we'll cover those. We we'll have a TOEFL. Um, grammar quiz and then we'll also have some other lesson plans that we can go through just to give you some sort of idea of the academic part of it and okay. people that are going overseas need to get into colleges overseas okay okay uh, you getting tired no no I'm fine <laughs> okay good where are you from I'm from Tunisia where Tunisia Tunisia okay. Yeah, good, good. Tunisia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's in North Africa. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep, a small but nice place. It's supposed to be pretty there, isn't it? Isn't it pretty? Huh? I don't hear you. Is that a full country? In the country? No, it's Did very... Um, no, the audio is very... Um, cut. We don't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you guys, uh, so... Okay. Uh, yeah, it's better now. Yeah, yes. okay. Okay, good. Good, good. Oh, so Tunisia, okay. For some reason, I thought that Tunisia... Uh, did have a, a good environment, you know. Yes. I thought there was a place that, uh, you know, had had beautiful beaches and everything else. Goes to show you what I know, huh? So okay, so Tunisia. And by the way, we'll uh, wait for a few more people to show up. Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, yeah. Well, you're there in the Med Mediterranean Sea. Yes. Pretty arid place. Is it very dry? I guess. Yes. Okay. It's a good country to live in. It's what? It's a good country to live to live in. Good country to live in. Okay. All right. And I was just looking at some stuff here on uh, Wikipedia while we're waiting for some people here. Okay. Okay. And how long have you go? Uh, I'm sorry. How long have you been taking classes? Have you taken Colingo classes? Yeah. How many Colingo classes have you attended? Maybe seven. Seven classes. Okay. okay. About seven classes. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, hello, Amanda. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Gil. Good. Good. Where, where are you from, Amanda? It looks like daylight wherever you're at. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay. So is that uh, those lights on or is that... No, that can't be daylight outside, is it? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So uh, what time is it where you're at? No, but now I'm in Switzerland. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's daylight in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> So good. good. What time is it there? 
What time is it in Brazil? I think it's um, five, five or six o'clock. Oh, it's early. Yeah. Here in Chile it's ten o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's like here, and Switzerland is ten o'clock. Yep. Okay. Well, good. Yeah, you were in one of my classes. Um, I think earlier this earlier last week or something like that. I think you were in one of my classes. Now that I remember. Do you remember? Can you can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Amanda, Could you the question, you, please. Yeah, yeah. So I was asking Amanda. Amanda, oh, you, okay. were you in one of my classes last week? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not my first time. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 And how did you end up in Switzerland? What, what brought you to Switzerland? Uh, what time are you doing here? Yeah. Why did you go to Switzerland? Did you go for I, work? Yeah. I came here to do my master degree uh, management. Okay, good, good, good. All right. And Alfredo, how are you doing? Everything good with your microphone? All ready to go? Yeah, everything nice. Okay, good, good. Hey, Meow, how's your microphone this time? Everything good? Is what? Yes. How? Hello. Okay. Hi, hi. Everything's good then? Okay, good. Good. Yeah, and you know what? I don't know why, but my uh, my camera is not working right now. Okay, I don't mean to. And I even brought my little dog. You know, earlier somebody was asking about my dog. So I brought, uh, we we have two pugs, and they had a little puppy, and the little puppy's big enough now to be sold, so it's gonna be gone pretty soon. He's asking about it, but uh, so I brought it to show. And, uh, there's no camera. Where the heck is my camera? So anyway, let me try to figure out what's going on with this camera real quick here. Okay. And um, let's see. So, welcome back. The audio has a problem. Uh, Mill has a problem with her audio? Uh, yeah. I don't see her typing yet. Oh, she's gone. And uh, what's going on, Vanessa? Hello. How are you? How are you? Hey. I'm fine. Good, good, good. Great. Any, 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 uh, any singing today? Sorry? Can you can you join in any singing today? Uh. No. <laughs> and then hey, here's uh here's Sunny. Hey Sunny. How are you? Hi, I'm very well, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Your microphone's working. Yeah, I was just trying to fix my stupid, um, I don't know why, but my camera's not working. Yeah, I was trying to fix that here. And I definitely don't uh -oh. want to just, uh, ah, it's okay. Nobody wants to see me anyway. Come on, let's face it. Okay. So. No, we want to um, see you. <laughs> I was, was going to show my little puppies. Oh, hi, yeah. so funny. <laughs> so, okay, funny, good. Are you awake? Hello? You know, I, I was also attending the previous class wherein I, because I am working with the night shifts, so I just dropped at home uh, by 6 a.m. in the morning, and now it's 2 p.m., so I did not sleep entire night, entire night, also did not sleep, I mean, since yesterday till now, I did not take a sleep. So I was just attending the previous <laughs> class and said, and I slept. <laughs> wow, sorry. <laughs> In the class. Man. It was unbelievable. He takes a nap. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Yeah. Boy, Sonny. Well, good for you. I'm glad you can handle that. I, I would just pass out. There's no way I can handle that. Okay. So good. We got everybody in class. So what we're going to do now is, um, oh, you got oh. somebody behind you. See somebody's behind you. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? Okay, good, good, good. Making sure you study. <laughs> Better study. <laughs> Stop working so much and start studying. Yeah. By the way, we're we're looking up Tunisia. We had a, we have a student here from Tunisia today. So, um, okay. So what we're gonna do today, just to start out with. So so do you all understand academic English? 
Does there, everybody understand why we have academic English classes? Can anybody answer that? Mm. Mm. Anyone? Don't be shy. If you get it wrong, it's okay. Not too much. Okay. So, so there's a whole side of English, you know, the academic English, where you have various exams, the IELTS, TOEFL, and so forth. And these exams are typically focused on if you want to work overseas or if you want to go to school overseas, right? Okay. So with the academic, it's a little more strict. So what I'm going to do today is just introduce you to uh, some learning when it comes to the TOEFL and IELTS and just go through some of the tests, go through some examples and so forth, okay? And I'm trying to keep this on an intermediate level, all right? So not too hard, uh, not too easy, just kind of right in between, all right? So this will give you some sort of idea. And also, too, for those of you that have not taken an academic uh, class with us just to kind of give you an introduction to understand what we uh, cover in those classes, okay? All right? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. So um, go ahead and make sure you click on me, the Brett Tutor down on the bottom, okay? So that way my screen's being shared with you. So that way you can see what we're talking about here. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Uh, so hey, Ahmed, how are you? I didn't see you come in. Oh, hello. Hello, Ahmed. Hello, Ahmed. Okay, well, I guess Ahmed's not here. Hey, Alfredo. Hi. Hi. And by the way, I think there there might be some settings in somebody's microphone that's not um, that's not working right. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway. So, hey, Alfredo, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, go ahead and start out, read this page for me, and then read the first question? And then everybody else will uh, will answer this. So go ahead, read this okay. for me, and then read the first question. Okay, sure. Um, TOEFL Grammar Practice Quiz 1. Mm. Choose the correct grammar structure to complete the sentence. Each, each, each question has only one correct answer. Answer. When you are finished, click on the next question button. There are 33 questions to to this quiz. Um, try to use only one minute per question. At the end of the quiz, of the of the quiz, sorry, you will receive quiz feedback. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Read the first question, and everybody just join in. Hey, Philip, nice to see you. So, um, go ahead and read the first question, and then okay. everybody. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be looking at the chat. Just to let you all know, okay? I'm gonna be on the other page, clicking. So I'll expect for you to say out loud, and then when there's a dispute, then uh, then we'll flip it over, okay? All right. So go ahead. All right. Read. Uh, read. Read the first one here. Okay, um, his illness, um, John continued to play rugby. Okay, what do you all think? Um, uh, also, also. Although, uh, although, what, yeah, although. Okay, do you all agree with that? And again, this is just a group discussion, everybody, okay? Amanda, Meow, Mill, Philip, Sonny. Vanessa, do you think it's although? I think despite. Despite? I think okay. despite too. Despite? Okay. All right. Okay. So it's it's going to be despite. So just to help you out, Alfredo, if it was although he was sick, comma, John continued to play um, rugby, but it would be despite his illness for this one, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. No problem. Okay. So uh, go ahead and read the next one. Alfredo, I'm going to have you read a few, then I'm going to have Amanda read a few. So everybody will take turns reading these. Go ahead. Continue on, Alfredo. Okay. Um, correct. Mm, Q. After many pieces corps, teachers return to the States. Professional English teachers. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so what do you guys think? Often they become, they often become, and often become. Remember, these are example quizzes that you're going to have on these tests, okay? So this is getting you prepared for it, all right? Don't be shy. Be boy. They often become. They often become. They often become, okay. All right, okay. So Amanda, go ahead and read the next few, okay? Okay. Uh, that the America India crossed um, land bridge into North America from what is now Russia. Okay. A. It is considered. Yes. Okay. What it, What do you all think? Is it considered? It was thought. It is thought. It's considered. It is considered. Okay. So, are you guys sure it isn't? Is it is thought? Okay. What do you What do you think, Luis? How about you, Mill? It Phillip? is thought. I think it is thought. It is thought. Um, it is okay. thought. Thought. Yeah. And also, too, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not in the chat. It's just I'm on the other page. Let's go ahead and try here. It is thought. Okay. All right. So you would want to use it as considered. Um, you would say something like, it is considered popular belief that the land bridge and so forth, okay? But you just want to say it was thought. So Amanda, go ahead. None of the students be have a oh sorry I can't. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can use you can use blank, but uh, blank a car. So what do you all think? Have has has has. Okay. So everybody's set with has. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then let's see. Let's go on to uh, Luis. Luis, is your microphone working? Hello, Luis. We can see your eyes. <laughs> okay. Oops, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I just muted you, Amanda. I didn't mean to unmute yourself. Sorry about that. So, okay. So, Meow. Meow, you go ahead and start to read a few of these for us, okay? Blank the depression. Go ahead. Blank the depressions. Individual stock ownership was common in the United States. Okay. I think it's, it, it was during the depression. Okay. No, by the time. No, by the time of. No, by the yep. time of. Okay, not a problem. By the time of. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Meow. Never before blank as rapidly as during the last T decrease. Okay. And don't be shy, okay? Just talk it out. All right. A. Communication. Communication have the developed. The first one. Okay, so never before communications have developed as rapidly, as opposed to never before have communications developed as rapidly. I uh yeah, have developed. Mm, have communications developed never before have communications. So you think it might be the last ones never before have developed communications? Let's let's mark out the last one, okay? okay? Because what that would be is that would be like developed communications is uh is like a noun, right? Okay, mm -hmm. it's like a type of communications. All right? That's what now what uh 
know what they're trying to express here. So, so let's just try to put it down between the two. So you all are you all are uh, going forward with never before communications have developed as rapidly. Hello, and don't worry, guys. Hey, this is academic stuff, so it's very, very particular. A. All right, and these are these are example quizzes. So, A, you want to go with A? Okay, yeah. let's go with A. All right. So, have communications developed? Okay. All right, because it's saying never before have they. Okay, and the they. Is a communications and then oh, okay. developed as rapidly. Yeah. Okay. And not a not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. All right. And if you're wondering why I don't completely stop you guys every time, is because it's okay to get things wrong every once in a while. Okay. Not a problem. So, Mill. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Are you ready to do some reading? All right. It is not yet clearly understood because of the three. Yep. Yep. And by the way, thank you, Vanessa. You're you're pointing out something. Um, All right. Something, something very good, or something that's uh, very productive. So, Luis. What Vanessa is trying to say, and what you'll hear from all of the um, all of us teachers, and pardon me for interrupting you, from all of us teachers at Colingo, is that there's only ten full seats in class, and due to the fact that we have to have a robot, you know, this Benjamin Lowstein robot. Or Lowenstein, sorry about that. I hope he doesn't kill me for not pronouncing it right. <laughs> we have to have that, and then obviously we have to have a teacher. Okay, so there's only eight spots left, and there's lots of people that want to join. If you're having problems with your microphone, let me help you out. Okay, let me give you a link here, and you can try to troubleshoot it. But if it doesn't work, then what we ask is that you just watch the class either later or you just watch it from the outside. Okay. Either one, you're going to get the same effect as if you're in here right now, right? Okay? So that way other people can join in. And there's the link that you have in there, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. where's the link? What is going on? My camera doesn't work. My ca okay, there you go. All right? So, yeah, Louise, it's okay. Just go ahead and drop out for now. There might be somebody else who wants to join in. And, again, thanks, Vanessa, for pointing that out. Mill, so oh, sorry for interrupting you. No, go ahead and it's continue okay. I'm, I'm here. Oh, I know you're there. I can see. I can see the little green line moving. Everything okay. else is black, though. So go ahead, Mill. Go ahead and read for us, please. All right. It is all the list. Why it intimidate and readers can't? Uh, so it's or, not clearly understood. Blank oh, cause all right. obesity. Oh, so. mm -hmm. all right. It is not yet clearly understood. Uh, I think. Um, okay. What do you guys think? I Everybody, think join in. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mel. Um, yeah, I think it maybe could be the, the first one. Why eating too many hamburgers can cause obesity? Oh, I what do you? Uh, in, in, oh my God. Hey? Yeah, no, it's it's okay. No, no. Hey, just don't don't worry if you get it if you get it wrong, nobody's <laughs> gonna jump out and like cyber punch you. Okay, through the computer, and if you get it right, nobody's going to give you a cyber hug either. So either way, you're all good. Okay, so no problem. It's like a, it's like a neutral. Uh, you think it's uh, A? Uh, I think uh, it's C. Eating too many hamburgers. Eating can. too many hamburgers can. <laughs> it is not clearly understood. Eating too many hamburgers cause obesity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so think about it is not yet clearly understood. Okay, so that's almost like a question, right? Okay. So it's not cl yet clearly understood. So it's it's uh, so not clearly understood eating too many hamburgers. I think it's going to be one of those with a Y. Okay. 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 So which one? Uh, which one do you think it would be? The first one. Okay. Yeah, first one. Okay. All right. Wow, everything is going slow, okay? All right. Okay, so let's go on. So, Mill, go ahead and read this one as well. Right. The Eiffel Tower is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
Okay. Eiffel or Eiffel? Eiffel? Eiffel. 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 Yep, Eiffel. Like an Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower is. Okay. More. No. So what do you. What do you think, Sonny? Okay. Philip, you going to join in? Vanessa? What do you guys think? Uh, mm. There must be the Eiffel Tower is as popular a tourist attraction than the leaning... Uh, the, I'm sorry, that's a leaning or learning? It must be learning, I think. Uh, leaning. 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 leaning, yep, leaning, yep. Leaning Tower of Pesa. Pesa. So you think, you think there's a... You think there's a than instead of an as? Yeah, then we must be the first one. I think it's... I think second one. The second one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so one's a comparison. Well, I mean, they're both comparison. But one, uh, one comparison is where it's better. The other one is just where it's the same. And I think the problem think is, is with one. the way that than... Yeah, I think it's probably a second one too. Okay. Okay. All right. So good. 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 Let's continue on. Um, okay. So, hey, Philip, do you want to read, or it sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. some problem? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Philip. Go ahead. While most New Yorkers believe in ghosts, blank do not. Okay. So keep in mind that the key word in here is most New Yorkers. Okay, okay most. So most is going to be, you know, 50%, uh, well, 51% or greater. Okay? It's probably going to be more around like, you know, like an 80% out of 100. Yep. I think it's a third one. Okay. While most New Yorkers believe in ghosts, there are a few that do not. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Okay. And it's and you guys it's not there are a few which so which it's not correct, right? Okay. Number two, I don't know, I think maybe number three. Okay. Okay, no problem. All right. So Phil Oh meow. Come on, well, don't don't be apologizing. <laughs> meow, it's okay. All right, there's no uh there's no need to apologize in class. Everything's cool. All right. Don't worry. We're not gonna we're not gonna go and uh, take your kitten away from you. Okay. All right. So, go ahead, Philip. Read the next one, please. Yep. You still there, Philip? All right. Is your mute still on, Philip? Okay, maybe so. Okay, our our sleep deprived Sunny. Okay, all right. Go ahead, go ahead, Sunny. Our <laughs> no, no. Hey, it's okay, yeah. man. You know, I, I wish I had your I'm magical feeling, powers. You know? <laughs> now I'm feeling very much fresh because I just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever keeps you going. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, read this one, please. Okay. Uh, that's going to be with his first painting, Lee Temple du Mordu, George Lizarex to establish himself as a master of pointillism. So okay. there must be, I think, the, in the filling the blank, there must be was able okay. to was able to this was there there must be third one was able to establish himself as a okay. master of what do you all think? What do you what do you think, Amanda? C C okay meow think C. Amanda was able you think that's the right one? Okay, I think you're I think you're on okay, there yeah. you go, Amanda. Okay, good. Good. Okay. All right. Okay, and then um, hey Correct. Ahmad, hey yeah. Ahmad, how are you? Yeah, I'm Hi. Doing great. How are you? Good, good, good. So we're just we're just going through some quizzes here. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, we got the uh, sleep deprived Sunny at the wheel. So, 
Go ahead, Sonny. <laughs> keep 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 driving the bus, buddy. Just watch out for the cliff, okay? Go okay. ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Sonny. Keep reading, please. Sure. Mm, dash Chinese is more difficult to learn than English, and um, there must be. I think in the fill in the blanks, there must be. Certainly, no. I'm sorry. Is certain that Chinese is yeah the first one. The I first one must be there. It is certain that Chinese is more difficult to learn than English. Yeah, I'm sure for okay. that. All right. Okay, so you all think uh, uh, it is certain that, okay, it looks like I have overwhelming number one. All right. Okay, and we just keep going on. And by the way, Chinese is so difficult to learn. Okay, I hate to tell you guys that, but it is. Um, and uh, anytime I try to speak Chinese with Philip, he can attest to that. So uh, go ahead, uh, Vanessa, it's your turn. Do some reading for me, please. Okay. Tinker and Pulp um, Blank, the Brinker writes from, this, from his poem Alexander in 1976. Poet, I pronounced well this word. Poet? Say it again. Poet? Thinker and Poet, the Poet. Okay. Thinker and Poet. poet. Yep. yep. Thinker and Poet. Okay. Well, I think it is. Okay. And what do you guys think? Thinker and poet. One. Was the second one. Was a word without being Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. And just some more quizzes here. Okay. Go ahead, Vanessa. Uh, okay. Research no proves that eating peas and chips is healthier than eating hamburgers. Okay. Eating hamburgers? Mm hmm. Eating. Yes. I okay. think it could be All right. Um, yeah, okay. All right, good. Good. Okay, so Ahmed. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, can you can you read for us? Okay, uh, I read the question, right? Yep. Okay. It was a blank. Johnny finally gave up. Okay. What do you all think? Two. Two. I think okay. one. Two. Think one. Why? Why do you think uh, one? Uh, when you read it, <laughs> it's you, you it's can okay. read it smoothly. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It was so, such difficult that jo Johnny finally gave up. Mm, I think it's so difficult. Okay, and everybody else is joining with so difficult. Okay. Okay, not a problem though. We're all here to learn, Ahmed. So we all make mistakes, all right? So no problem. Uh, go ahead, Ahmed. Read the next one. Go ahead, Ahmed. Me? Uh, yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Read this That's one, please. Uh, no, no problem. Blank. Okay. Blank. I will have returned in uh, it immediately. If I okay. knew that you wanted to read it, I had known that you wanted to read it. Had I known that you wanted to read it? Okay. Okay, two. One. One, I think. Okay. One, two, three. All right. So let's digitally arm wrestle for it. Two? Okay, so the first one would be, if I knew that you wanted want to, to read it, it, I would have returned it immediately. I had known that you wanted to read it, I would have returned it immediately. 
Okay. Had I known that you wanted to read it, I would have returned immediately. Let's uh, mark off number two, okay? And then, <laughs> and then it's either one or three, okay? I'll narrow it down for you guys. What do you guys think? The second one. Mm, if I one. knew. Okay, so this, no, the second one it won't be. Okay, it'll definitely be oh, okay. number one or number three. So I'm just trying to narrow it down for you all a little bit. Then three. Number three? Teacher. So we got number, th Excuse yeah. Excuse me. But, but if, but if I, I'm not sure, but if we are talking about a, a, a question, so, uh, no, it's, it, no, it's not a, no, 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 it's not, it's not. I see. No, no. Yep. Yep. Okay. You guys want to go with number one? It looks like everybody's set on number one. Okay. It's a little okay. bit confusing, I think. Oh, I know. I know it's confusing. <laughs> you know? Yep. So, all right. Okay, but this is in the past. All right. So, but let's, uh, let's try one. this out. Okay. It's because I was thinking that it could be the third conditional. It's okay. It's yeah. No, it's okay. All right. So you want to had had I known, because I would have. Okay. All right. Um, that you wanted to read it, and again, it's okay. That one was confusing, but again, this is an academic English uh, class. So I'm trying to show you some of the difficulties and the challenges that you're going to face. Uh, you know, once it comes time to test time. Okay. Is everybody Great. okay? Everybody right. take a yes, deep sir. breath. <laughs> okay. Am I, am, I, am I the only one seeing two Amandas? Oh, okay. Good. Now we're back to one Amanda. I, yes. thought, I, I thought I was getting sleep deprived, you know? <laughs> okay. So continue on. Uh, let's see. Vanessa, read this last one, please. In the 19th, 19th, blank, it's premium position in the world economy. The USA return. The, the first one. USA returned. USA returned. Okay. So what that's saying is that it gave back its premium position in the world economy. Okay. So that's saying the USA returned it, just as if you returned a gift after Christmas. Okay. So what do you all what do you all think? And hey, folks, don't be shy, okay? Come on. Join on in the conversation, all right? I know, I know this might seem like boring, boring test taking, but it's academic. There's not too many things with academic that spell fun, right? Okay, so no worries. So do you all think that it's going to be number one, the USA returned? So it yeah. gave it back? Or, or, okay. So... I think two. You think two? So what two reads is the USA returned to its premium position in the world economy. So before the 1990s, it was not, it did not have its premium position in the world economy. Okay? So that's saying it returned to it instead of returning its premium position. Okay? And then the last one is saying the U.S. is returning like just like you would be returning a gift to your grandmother because you didn't like the socks that she gave you. Okay. I hope no one returns their gifts to their grandmother. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Grandma, this gift sucks. Well, okay. So so anyway, what do you all think? You think you want to go with meow? You guys are still set on number one? Okay. All right. See a lot of number ones coming up. Okay, so returned to. So what it did is it returned to its premium position in the world. Okay, what you're saying is it, it returned its premium position, like gave it up. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, uh, let's see. So um, Vanessa, go ahead and read this next one, and then we'll I'll have some other people read. Go ahead, Vanessa. Blank in a home where two parents work is a difficult task <coughs> needed. 
Okay. So difficult task. Difficult task. Yep, I'm sorry, go on. No, no worries. Uh, bringing up children in a home where two parents work is a difficult task indeed. I think this is the third okay. one. Yep. Yep, and the key is uh, difficult task. That's the key words, okay? Yeah. You guys good with number three? I think number two. Number two? Yeah. yeah and this one's this one's this one's pretty difficult here. Okay. So we have two number twos so far. One number three. Okay. Another number two. Okay, you guys want to go against Vanessa. Let's see what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bringing up children. Okay. Oh. Okay. And it's okay. It's okay. We know Vanessa is the champion of the world. So. No, okay, hey, no. Philip. <laughs> Philip, uh, go ahead and read the next one for us, Philip, okay? Mm, I think I think you're having some problems, Philip. Okay. Oh, there, um, again, again. There has not no, yet been any decision made blank will represent the country at the Olympics. Okay. Okay, what do you all think? Concerned athletes chosen as to which athletes, those athletes? Okay. Hey, Cristobal. Um, hey, Professor. Hey. Remember, just teacher. If I'm a professor, then I gotta have like a bunch of gray hair and stuff. You keep insulting me. Why don't you like me? I like you. You're always nice. You know. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Just kidding around. But um, okay. So uh, so what do you think, Meow? What do you think? Which one is it? It's so hard. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. Do you think it's the one with athletes in it? Okay. Amanda, I think you're on the verge. Okay, Amanda's Amanda's got one. Okay. Okay. Ahmed, meow number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Philip, what do you think? I know you're muted, but can you type it? Sure. And Mill? Well, hey Mill, we we I haven't heard from you. Um, yep, go ahead, Mill. Yeah, maybe a uh, a second one. Okay, as to okay, so we have a few with with number two. Okay. All right, good, good, good. Hey, Philip, it sounds like you have a lot of sound coming from you, so we're gonna we're gonna skip you. Not that not that we don't love you, but we're gonna skip you. Okay. So and just feel free to to type in there. Hey, Mill, uh, can you read the next one? I fill in the blank. Shakespeare was also a prolific writer of sonnets. Okay. Oh. Blank, and then there's a comma in there. All okay. right. Um, okay. What do you What do you all think? Three. Three. Uh, so, yeah. Three. One. Dead. Noted for his plays. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go with that one, and I want to be noting because that means uh, that that he would be performing the action. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mill. Go on to the next one. The Concord, which was blank jet, can reach New York from London. Is approximately two and half hours. <laughs> Two and a half yep. hours. Yep. Good. Okay. Remember the Concord is no longer in action, right? Okay. Dick. The Concord the Concord never flies anymore. It was a uh, a jet from Air France. Okay. Um fastest 
Harus the word fattest <laughs> guest. Uh, the, that, oh, the third yeah. one, may yeah, third one. Yeah, I like how Vanessa guest. Vanessa <laughs> has two or three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good the one, Vanessa. <laughs> she has a 66% uh, chance of getting it right. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Meow, go ahead and read this next one for us, please. Yes. Scientists bring nanotechnology capables of computations at the atomic level. Okay. Scientists blank. Okay. Have recently too. Yeah, recently. Yep. Yep. Oh, I see number. I see number two is going up like fireworks. <laughs> it's like fireworks are happening there. Meow. Come on, keep on going for us, please. Frank is portrayed in her man. He said, Stephen Wolf. What what does portrayed mean? Uh, portrayed, so like shown, all right. Portrayed, just like if somebody has a portrait of you, okay, it's a picture of you. So portrayed okay. is to like write about you. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Um. I think two. A man searched his soul. Yeah. Mm. Let's leave out number two, okay? It's okay. So, a man searching his soul, or a man in search of his soul, is portrayed. So, the main thing here is the is portrayed. Meaning you're you're drawing a picture of something. Okay. Man like a human. Yep. Like a human meow. Even though men don't seem too human these days. But that's a whole nother discussion. So okay, so three. What do you all think? Number three? Or number one? Number one? Okay, so so okay, but think about the is portrayed. Okay, so okay, so is portrayed is the key that I wanted to you all for you. It's okay, everybody. Don't worry. All right, is portrayed is what I wanted you to get as the key because a man in search of his soul. That's what they're portraying. That's what they're showing. All right, but all good. All good. Okay, your brains are your brains are all working. Your brains are all turning. So that's the important thing. Okay, all right. So, Cristobal, can you read this one, please? Um, despite uh, Jack continued uh, to lose weight. Okay. So, the key here is continued to lose weight, and then the other key is. Despite, so despite is going in the opposite, right? Okay, so two. So, um, so increasing food take or increased food take. Increasing. Increasing. Increasing food take or despite increased food take? Increasing. Jack, increasing. Okay. Okay. Increased food. Because he's continuing. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So the problem is it would have to be despite increasing his food take. All right. So increased food intake. All right, that's like an action itself. All right, okay, okay. It's an increased food take. It's like a. Um, so what it's saying is that's the action. So the other one, when you have just increasing, you would need to put his in there. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Cristobal, go ahead. Continue reading. Uh, okay. Um, singer and entertainer for his beautiful and expressive voice. Okay. All right. And it tells you about him, right? He's singer and entertainer. Okay. Meow has three. Yep. Okay, anybody else? Three? Yep. Okay, good. Let's go with three. I think. <laughs> yep. Okay. So you would say poet and noted uh, writer, comma, Stephen King. Okay, so usually when you do stuff like that, you usually have the person right after that. You'll have the subject right after that. Okay, um, drunk and sloppy, comma, she was escorted out the building. All right, so good, good. Okay, so let's continue on here. So Amanda, can you read this for me, please? Yeah, it's not only important to be on time, blank, footers when re replying to colleagues. Okay, what do you all think? But also, it's three. Say it again. So we have three. First one. It is. It is not only important to be on time, but uh, it is also three. important to be courteous when replying to colleagues. Okay. Okay. What the heck? There we go. Okay. Can you pronounce the word cur courteous again? No, Courteous. 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 Yeah. And then, uh, cur so for those of you, ay, 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 am I really going to spell this wrong? Am I this terrible? Okay. So, also, too, you all can see here, let me show you something. Okay. So, there's a phonetic spelling that you'll have, right? So, courteous. And this, this phonetic spelling isn't as good as what you get in dictionary.com. Okay, let me go into here. Okay. Okay, so in here, you can see how you get a phonetic spelling for a word. When a word has more than one syllable, you're going to have the stress on just one syllable. Okay, right? So like cat, dog, you know, those don't have, uh, they're just one syllable, so there's all the stress on there. But this one, courteous. So, of course, I'm going to have the stress here on the first syllable, which is going to be bold, okay? So, courteous, all right? Now, I know you're, I know you're aware of this, Philip. I was just showing this for everybody else as well, okay? So, in case you guys ever have any, um, any questions about pronunciation, it's always good to go and look at dictionary.com, and then it'll have the phonetic spelling, all right? Okay, Amanda, go ahead, read this one. <coughs> Blank, what's this check writing? Written, written. Blank written. was this check written. Yep, written. not a problem. Thank you. Yep. Mm. Who? To who? We have, we have a bunch of threes to popping who? up. To who or to whom? To whom? Three. Three? To whom? Okay. Okay. All right. And then let's see. So Ahmed, do we still yeah. have you here? Okay. Good. Yeah. So go ahead. Read read this one, Ahmed. Okay. Children attending private schools. Blank. Being slightly uh, spo spoiled. Are often a cause of. Often a cause. Are often a cause from. Okay. What do you think? What do you Number all think? One. Number one. Number one. Okay. Yeah. One. Mills got number one. Okay. The fireworks gonna start. <laughs> Meow has number one. Meow, is that your cat, by the way? Mm. 
now my friend sent this picture to me. Okay. All right. Okay. I was just checking. All right. So I think we got a lot of number ones. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Ahmed, go ahead and read the next one. Okay. Diet based on only one basic food element, blank, no diet at all, can be as ineffective then can be as ineffective as can be so ineffective then okay we have a bunch of twos two <clears throat> two two okay Okay, good, good. And then this one here, ay, 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 ay. let me get it all the way back here. Keep going. Okay, one more. All right. So I'll give you all the link here. Okay. Again, I don't know why. I don't know what's up with my camera. So I don't know what's going on. So otherwise, I'd show you all my puppy today, but that's not going to work. Um, yeah, that's just going to go blank. So hey, I know today that uh, we had a few. Um, you now we had a few things on food. Okay, have I shown you all this? Here's the thing. You know, I was talking about how you can um, how you can feed your brain. You know, while you're learning English, instead of just watching crappy movies, there's only so many Schwarzenegger movies you can watch, right? So. Um, but this one here, oh wow, where's his other one? Okay. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Not David Brooks. I was looking for one on here to where he had the guy. Wow, it's not on here anymore. You got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, this one here. This one is fantastic. And this is one where you can. Um, okay, bye, Vanessa. But you can hang on for one more second if you guys want. I know. I know that. Class, class is about ending. Anyway, this one here talks about how sugar makes such a big impact on your diet. It also talks about the history of sugar and how it's creeped into all